Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing out there this morning? Good, I hope. I hope you're having a great morning. I hope you have a great day today, all day. By golly. Let's get to it. Stop hating yourself for being you. That's right. That's what I said. Stop hating yourself for being you. Stop beating yourself up for being you. Stop beating yourself up for things that you think you may have done that were wrong. Just stop all that madness. You're going to live with you for the rest of your life. The rest of your life, you're going to live with you. No matter what else happens in this world, as long as you're alive and breathing, you are going to live with you. So you might as well make peace with you and be happy with you and get along with you. And then you'll just have a whole lot better time with you. We go through life beating ourselves up for things we did in the past, having feelings of guilt and shame and regret and resentment and against ourselves and all this craziness. And we just beat ourselves up for being us. There's just no point in that. It's just absolutely pointless. First of all, when you're beating yourself up with anything, whether it's guilt, shame, remorse, regret, whatever it is that you are beating yourself up with. You don't like yourself because you're not the right size. You don't look right. Something isn't right. You're never going to be happy doing that. Never. And what is the point, really? What is the point? And why are you doing it? There's absolutely no growth in any of it. You're not going to grow. You're not going to get better. You're not going to get happier. You're not. There's, there's nothing positive, nothing beneficial about beating yourself up with any of that kind of stuff. Nothing. All it does is, is, is make you feel worse about yourself. And if you do it long enough, it will make you physically sick. And we've learned stuff our whole life. We've been programmed by society to believe certain things. If you look a certain way, you're okay. If you act a certain way, you're okay. All this kind of insane bull crap that's just not the truth. The bottom line is, God don't make no junk. And He made you and you ain't no junk. You're perfect just the way you are. Yeah, you made mistakes. So have I. So is everybody else on this planet. So what? Big deal. That's how we learn. We make mistakes. So here's the deal with the mistakes. You make a mistake... Learn from it. Move on. Forgive yourself for, for not knowing better. You did the best you could with what you had. So move on. Let it go. And get back to the business of living and, and enjoying yourself. You are going to be in your own company no matter what. If you're at work, you're with you. If you're at home, you're with you. If you're on vacation, you're with you. If you're sleeping, you're with you. If you're awake, you're with you. When you take a shower, you're with you. When you go for a walk, you're with you. When you interact with other people, you're with you. You get the drift. You're with you 24-7. There's no escape, so you might as well be good to you. Love you just the way you are. Accept you just the way you are, and you'll have a much better life. You'll be a happier human being. I don't care what size you are, what shape you are, what color you are, what occupation you have. I, I, I don't care. Just love you. It's about time you started loving you. If you spent as much time... Loving yourself is you do beating yourself up. Oh my God, you'd be that one happy human being. You really would. You'd be just as happy as could be. You get wrapped up in your head and you start feeling bad about yourself. And then you start beating on yourself. You start whipping yourself with the, with guilt or shame or I'm too big or I'm too skinny or I'm too tall or I'm too short or I'm too goofy or whatever it is. Then you're unhappy. And once you start that, it starts a chain reaction and more of that stuff comes up and you just you just self-loathing. Knock it off already. You're a great person. Whether you believe it or not, you're a, a, you're a walking, talking miracle. When you were born, if you've ever been in a room when somebody was born and you, and you watched a, a birth taking place, you go, oh my God. You, you just never, never experienced anything like it. It's like you look at that and you go, oh my God, what a miracle. And it changes your perspective. Well, you're that same miracle. One day you were born and somebody saw, thought the same thing. Now, maybe you didn't have parents that liked you or maybe you were put up for adoption or whatever. That doesn't matter. That doesn't mean that somebody in that room didn't think you was a miracle because you are. And you're still that same miracle you just forgot. You've been programmed by, by society to think you're less than perfect. And that's just bull crap. So enough already. You're a walking, talking, living miracle. Look in the mirror and look right in your eyes and you'll see a miracle looking back at you. And while you're there, say, I love you. Just say it. Say it to yourself. Start saying, I love you. Every time you start beating yourself up with something, say, I love you. 
So forgive yourself today for all the stuff you've done in the past that you beat yourself up over or whatever it is. Just forgive yourself and start loving yourself and start enjoying your own company and you're going to be a much happier person. Now, you may need to get some help for that. If you do, do it. Talk to a friend, a spiritual coach, counselor, psychiatrist, psychologist, doctor, whoever you need to talk to so that you can get feeling good about you and stop beating yourself with those negative emotions. You deserve to be happy. You're worth it. And I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tell me. Over.